This is how to derive an equation for the upthrust acting on an object which is fully submerged in a fluid. So here we have this particular shape, it's got a weight acting down, um, it's at a depth of h underneath the surface and it's got a height equal to x. Now pressure is equal to force divided by area and therefore force is equal to pressure times area and this pressure at a depth in this fluid is going to be equal to rho gh at this point over here. And therefore the force acting on this face of the object is going to be equal to the pressure, rho gh, multiplied by the area. And that's important. So if we think about what's going on, F1, the force on the top surface is equal to rho ghA, but the force on the bottom surface is going to be bigger upwards because here the pressure has a bigger value. And that's equal to rho gh plus x multiplied by a, which is therefore equal to rho ghA plus rho gxA. Now, if we think about this object here, um, it's in equilibrium at this time, so the weight acting down is equal to the force up, F2, take away the force, F1. And the weight of that object is going to be equal to the upthrust acting on it. So we can say that the upthrust is equal to rho ghA plus rho gxA, that's force 2, take away the size of force 1, and we can see that these two things cancel to show that the upthrust is equal to rho gxA. Now for this object here, it's got a height or a depth of x, and the surface area is A, and therefore the volume is going to be this dimension x multiplied by the area A, so that's its volume. And therefore the upthrust is equal to rho gv, or we could also say that the upthrust is equal to rho vg.